world has more secrets than we could possibly imagine. Miracles, I guess. Still, still, now and then. Now and then. Oh. <laughs> what is that? That's not Kong. Who could have done this? Carl can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. My name is Michael Morley, and I am here to review Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. Directed by Adam Wingard, this is a sequel to the Godzilla vs Kong, which was also directed by Adam Wingard. This basically is the opposite of what the first movie was. Instead of Godzilla versing King Kong, it is Godzilla teaming up with King Kong with something that they are going to have to kill and eliminate. Basically the opposite of them. It is another version of Godzilla and it is another type of Kong-like version like King Kong. They're different, they're different breeds and they are nasty and they are in the underworld of where these monsters come from, which is in the under depths of the world. This is, it's one of those films, a popcorn movie, you turn your brain off, watch it, and just enjoy the ride. It feels like Transformers. The characters are the, the least important thing. This movie, people just want to see Kong and Godzilla, and that's what we're there for. The characters are good. Rebecca Hall stars in the movie. She was in the last one. Brian Tyler Henry, I think that's his name. He was in the last one. They're both back in it with the little girl who can do... She can communicate with King Kong. She can do, like, the, the hand gestures because she's deaf. She can do these certain telepath sort of things that King Kong to understand so she can communicate with King Kong. I feel like out of all the characters to come back, I really feel like Rebecca Hall and that little girl were two essential characters to return for this sequel. And having Brian... Brian Tyler Henry was like a cherry on top because he was very funny. He, he is a very funny guy. And I also love Dan Stevens. He's a new character that's introduced in this film and he has such great charisma. He's very funny. There's even good chemistry between him and Brian Tyler Henry. They, they really mix well together. I will say at times it is very, very slappy dialogue. It's very... Some of these little characters that are in there are very generic and very just boring and aren't very important and you just want to get back to Kong and Godzilla. And you love this new little monkey that, that's introduced in the film is so cute and so adorable. I was like, can you just go back to that get, go back to that little monkey? There were moments with little characters I just didn't care about where I was just like, just go back to Kong and Godzilla. There were points in the film where they were very smart about the characters, the four essential characters, which was Dan Stevens, Brian, Tyree, Henry and Rebecca Hall and the little girl who could communicate with King Kong. Those four characters were essentially important to have in the film because they were in direct communication with Kong and Godzilla. Wherever they were was where those creatures were and say they were essential to the plot and story. It was clever how, how they used them. It is a bit funny, like, how is this going to work with Godzilla and King Kong teaming up? But they do something very funny when Godzilla reunites with King Kong yet again, because I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm glad they did what they did when Godzilla first sees King Kong. And then at the end, there's this third act that is amazing. The fighting scene is great. If you just want to watch something that is just not a masterpiece, not a logical film, it's literally bullshit. Like, everything, you know it's bullshit. It's obviously... it's fucking a big ape versing a big underwater monster that can breathe out fire. It's not bad. But because this movie was not bad, but it wasn't great, I usually give movies 
a 7 out of 10 if I really think it's fresh, but a little bit lower than that, but I felt like it was higher than middle of the road, which is 6. So I'm giving this movie a 6.5 out of 10. Give it a go. What is that? can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. Last time those two met up, it was almost the end of Kong. They don't have to like each other. They just have to work together. Now I have seen everything. We've made some minor augmentations. Oh.